All right, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is we are going to be discussing a few sneakers that I feel like you all can make some plays on whether you want to hold them, you know, just kind of make quick flips on them right now. These are a few sneakers that I feel like are pretty good on the market at least uh, right now and I see some potential in them in the future for being more expensive for at least a couple of these so that's mainly why I'm mentioning them. Some I have already mentioned in the past so you may be able to guess what they are but some of these are newer mentioned so that's just what it is. But if you guys want more content like this, feel free to check my IGs, any of that down below. And again, if you want to cop more sneakers for retail price or for lower, be sure you guys check out Hype Labs. Again, Drew and I have been working on this for a while. We added some new stuff yesterday. Uh, everything you guys see right here, plus food discounts, even more are all in the group. So if you're interested in checking that out, having people run bots for you, learning about how to buy. Don't forget the daily under market pairs and deals I do so you can make money flipping those. And also the guides we have prohibit, stuff like that so you can cop the restocks. And again, get in that wait list down below if you're interested, just click that. And uh, again, won't charge you unless you're let in, but that's all I need to say. Hope you all will enjoy and let's get started here in this video. That will all be down in the description or in a pinned comment. So first things first, the Nike CPFM Air Flea Ones. I see these personally a few years down the line. They could be a lot more expensive. You can see right now they're at like 300 to 500, I believe, with the bigger sizes going for a little bit more. So yeah, you can see they're actually at more or less 300 uh, to well, 320 to 450. That's the range I'll say. And you can see some sizes, like the really rare sizes are a little bit Bit, uh, uh, a little bit higher in price, of course, just since stock was much lower. But my personal thoughts on these and what I think is going to happen. So you see the prices that they're at right now. Honestly, this isn't a terrible buying point. Like this is still a popular sneaker. It never really had a lot of pairs. I don't see a re-release coming for this shoe. Maybe another colorway or something like that that we haven't seen yet. I think that'd be kind of cool if they made like several colorways and editions of these. But I don't know what their plan is. Maybe this is the only one. But if if, if someone were to ask me if this was a long term if this is a long term hold i would say most definitely long term this is a shoe you could surely make a play on and i know a lot of people are like hey this shoe is mad ugly i do not agree with that but the reason i'm stating it is just because of the theme of it the overall hype that was behind it i think it's one of those ones we will look back on and be like oh yeah these are pretty crazy you know why not add these to the collection just because it's such a you know interesting sneaker it has a lot of details that we have not seen on a shoe before it's like a collector's item if that makes sense maybe not something you wear as much as you know you would maybe just like put it in a box and like uh you know just have it in your collection whatever you plan to do but i would probably rock these i mean these are pretty cool i don't think i would you know wear them on any random day though like i would really have to figure out what i'm wearing with these I, it just it's such a weird shoe and i also know you can you know cut down this portion i've seen people kind of cutting the uh you know extra fur and all that i know i'm calling it that but like i guess the extra grass I've seen people cutting that uh, off the sneaker and it looks not half bad when you cut it all off But again, that does decrease the value But that's not that doesn't matter when you're adding a shoe to your collection You know what I mean? You're just putting it on your feet. You're not thinking about that That's at least how I think about my shoes when I put them on So just want to feel like I'd mention uh, the CPFM overgrown forest green the flea ones I see these being a great long-term hold. It's a very interesting sneaker It has a lot of unique details and that's why I feel like it stands out It's just because it's it's because it's uniqueness. It is it's a lot different so that's why i could see this one again being more in the future if you want to try and you know sell it to some people now i'm sure some people will be interested it might be harder to find pairs most definitely but i just feel like a long-term hold in this might not be bad and the next one right here i have not discussed these but i know we are waiting on a release and i just want to say these will definitely be very hot come release time i haven't again i still haven't seen the release date it looks like it already has dropped back in september that must have been uh, over in europe or something like that because or i'm very forgetful let me know if i'm either very forgetful or if these have not dropped in the u.s yet i'm pretty sure these have not dropped in the u.s though so the prices that we see right now are a little bit high so they probably will drop down further but one thing I want to say is that these uh, will definitely, I could see a lot of quick flips happening on these and definitely a lot of people wanting them after the drop day. So it's probably going to drop a little bit more coming uh, into, you know, the eventual Nike app release, sneakers release, whatever will be planned. Again, if these have already dropped, let me know. I could just be very forgetful right here. And again, I could see these being over $200. I know that's a crazy claim, but it's just because it's overall based it off past ones that look like this. Why not? Champ Reds, you can see doing very solid, kind of that same reverse theme. But this is more or less what we have to watch out for also is colorways where it gets stock dropped like this. So that's why I'm kind of looking at this one and saying, hey, it might be good for quick flips, but don't look at it too hard. If you have it now, maybe just sell it 
and you know wait for another release but the gray colorway is usually very popular a lot of people like that style uh, of, you know, or not that style but that color just to wear and kind of style in their outfits because they don't have to think about it a lot it's just very simple uh, and easy to put together but you know blue's a little bit different so that's why these are a little bit lower in price also the fact that they restocked a bunch of times so that pro that will probably affect the price too when that happens so that's all I'm really gonna say right there you know just pretty basic stuff this one's definitely better uh, in terms of a long-term hold these no and same with the vast grays I, I'm just I'm waiting uh, for some reason I have not seen these yet on the Nike app maybe I'm forgetful people let me know down below if I am I don't think I am though because if these haven't dropped yet then don't hold this one but if it has dropped and you know we don't we're not going to see any more drops for it then it might not be a bad one to look into if you know a couple you know quick flips bulk buys whatever it may be but i'm just I, i'm i'm wary of a future release i feel like it'll happen maybe some sort of restock it happens with dunks like this and dunks in general they restock and finally i've been mentioning these this is the one i was talking about that you may be familiar with in this video the kentucky sb dunk low or not sb but sp dunk low now the reason i feel like these are a good play is just because of what they used to go for and again i could see these slowly slowly rising back to the point where they used to be at and you can see they already have risen a little bit i bought some size 12s and bigger sizes the other day at 220 uh, and 210 and you guys can see and i bought some 11 and a half at 215 and look at the prices now these are going to be slowly going back up towards 300 towards 350 there is not more stock coming back of these the little restock like the little restock that happened people freaked out about that and thought that was a bunch of stock it wasn't so keep that in mind the price dropped a bunch for what? I mean, obviously because stock dropped and, you know, demand was not as high and because there was more stock in, people were just trying to get, you know, those quick sales uh, in. It makes sense. But over time, slowly, as these kind of wean off, these are going to be going back up in price. We will, in a year, these will be back at like 350, 375. Zero doubt about it because uh, unless more kind of slow restocks kind of happen for this one or we see another big uh, restock on Nike or something like that for this one, I do not think this one's going to be dropped in price far like that. So that's just my personal opinion. I could be wrong, but I feel like in a year, if there isn't big restocks, these would be back at 350, 375, no problem, easily, because it's a, it's a heavy in demand shoe, it's a clean colorway, and it's one of the OG ones uh, that kind of, you know, started that whole dunk hype. So how can we ignore it, you know? I, I feel like it's crazy for people to say this one isn't a hold of some sorts. Uh, but again, I fully understand that because if restocks come along, I can be completely wrong here and then I'm the crazy one. So yeah, that's all I really need to say right there. And those are a few sneakers again, I feel like you guys should look out for right now because these are easy quick flips right now. If you can find people to buy these Kentucky Dunks off for like 220, 230, hold them for a couple weeks and then sell them locally for 270, 280. Maybe you might even, if you live in like Phoenix, Arizona or like in Cali, you can flip these for 300 right now local. I, be, I, I bet you can, I really bet you can because the Cali market is way higher than here down south. Here down south, people sell everything cheaper. So that's just, you know, how it is, but that's really what I'm saying. So if you guys, again, want more like this, feel free to check us out, or not check us out, but check up, you know, these. I don't really know what I was getting at right there, excuse me, but yeah, check the sneakers out down below. And if you want to get into a group, again, that offers you daily market deals, food discounts, that's just, again, a random feature we added yesterday, so I'm mentioning it right now. Uh, having botters for an item for you, daily bot, not daily botting classes, but weekly botting classes, so you can learn how to bot. It's a, really a basic of, if you want to improve your resale game, that's what we offer here at Hype Lab. So feel free to join our wait list, check us out, down below and again i'm going to be doing some more daily under market deals uh today so don't sleep on that and if you've never been in a cook group before this is definitely a great one to start with so that's all i need to say check us out and uh yeah follow my instagram as y'all want to so i'm ending that let me know your questions down below you interested in holding any of these long term what do y'all think you just can be making quick flips on them these are really just a few sneakers i would keep watch on that's my that's my main thing and the vast grays if they restock it'll be a good flip but maybe not as good of a long-term one just kind of a random mention but i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching hopefully i'll catch you then peace